welcome or welcome back to the Yarn on Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all of the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video. Um, welcome today. I have a little bit of shop talk to um, chat to you about today. So um, if you're new to the channel, um, I run a small online yarn shop here in South Wales from my home where I live. And um, every now and then I pop up on the channel um, a small video chatting about what's new, what's going on um, in the shop. So if that's not something that you're interested in, I completely understand understand um, one of the reasons that I try to keep these videos separate is so that folks who are really here for the making and um, not the business side of things can skip these videos should they choose to do so. Um, if that's you then as I say I completely understand I hope you will join me for the next video um, but for those of you who are interested in the shop shenanigans um, thank you so much uh, I truly do appreciate your interest and um, I hope you will stick with me for the next 10-15 minutes as I chat about what's new at Yarn and Yarns. As always I want to start the video by saying a big thank you to anyone who um, watched the last shop update video last week. Um, I don't always do these videos every week, it just depends what's going on here and it happens that um, I've got some more stuff to tell you about this week. So um, last week I was chatting um, in the main about the big shop update that I had for Emma Ball products. Um, so I wanted to say a huge thank you to anyone who watched that video and of course an extra thank you to anyone who was able to place an order. Um, I think most of the items are still available. A couple of things have sold out. Um, I know the um, penguins um, drawstring bags have sold. I think the robin um, enamel pins have gone um, but I will try and get those back in stock as soon as I can. But for most other things there's still um, a small amount of stock left so um, I will pop a link to the Emma Ball section of the website down below um, if you are interested in any of those items and if you didn't watch the last shop update video I'll pop a link up above so that you can check out um, all of the products that I had available in that update. So I've got a few things to chat to you about today. Um, the first thing is I've had a um, top-up order come in from Lane Publication. Um, so a couple of weeks ago the beautiful 52 weeks of Shawl's book was released. Um, I promise you that does say Shawl's under there. They put this lovely um, kind of like paper, there we go, paper cover over the top as an extra um, sort of cover with a beautiful picture on but it, it obscures some of the writing. So um, 52 weeks of Shawl's is back in stock for anyone who missed out. Um, so uh, again um, I'll pop links to all of these products below um, if you want to click straight over to the website to get to them. Um, along with the um, Shaw's book, um, I did also um, get a few copies of the latest Lane magazine, which is issue 11. Um, this is um, summer 2021. Um, and as always, um, this is more like a book than a magazine. Uh, as you can see, it's quite a thick publication and um, it's the beautiful photography and patterns that you have come to expect from Lane Publication. As always, alongside um, some of the beautiful patterns in the book, there are also recipes and articles um, to read and enjoy. Um, it's just, yeah, it's a real delightful publication. Um, there's lots of really lovely patterns in this one. There always are. Um, the thing that I like about the Lane aesthetic, as it were, is they quite often have um, really sort of practical but elegant garments um, so a lot of their garments are I would say uh, not all but a lot are fairly simple um, but then they have um, like some sort of beautiful detail going on um, they've got a gorgeous um, colour work sweater there's also a pattern in here I think it's called I want to say visitor doorbell interruption then <laughs> sorry about that um, interrupted my waffle. I think I was talking about a couple of the patterns in um, this issue of Lane that I really enjoy. Um, visiting is one because um, it's a lovely textured pullover um, but there is also a um, cardigan version of the same pattern which is really nice and um, I think I was also talking about the um, kind of simple designs with a little bit of added detail for elegance and the Yola, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, is an example of that. Um, it's a lovely um, pullover again with just a gorgeous sort of added cable detail down the side. Um, sorry if that's not showing up too well. It's um, photographed in a lovely um, sort of deep royal blue um, which um, 
isn't showing up that um, great on the camera. Uh, so yes, uh, Lane Magazine is now out and ready to order. Um, I also have the pre-order up on the website now for issue 37, I think, of Pom Pom Magazine. Um, I don't have a copy of that magazine. That one is released on the 3rd of June. Um, the cover is just stunning. I'll pop a picture up um, on the screen now. Um, so yeah, that one is available to pre-order and will be shipped at the beginning of June when it is released. And then to wrap things up with, for shop news this week, um, I have popped up um, the May iteration of the Yarn and Yarns Mystery Sock Club. Um, so that's now available. Um, the yarn this month is a little bit cheaper. So I think the club this month is around about £12. I can't remember exactly. Um, there are a few slots available um, which come with a project bag, which will be handmade by myself. Um, and because the yarn is a little bit cheaper this time, I'm going to um, do a little bit extra with the extras this month, if that makes sense. Um, but it's still a cheaper round of the sock club um, that, than some of the others that I have um, hosted for the club so far. Um, so the pre-orders for those will close on the 31st of May or when they sell out, whichever will be sooner. Um, and orders will be shipped at the beginning of June. I realised that I had been forgetting to record the little snippets which show off what have been in the last couple of sock clubs. So when I shipped out the April sock club, I did hopefully manage to record um, some snippets showing what were in the club boxes. If I still have that footage, I'll pop it at the end of the video. Um, but I did want to say that the April sock club did not sell out. Um, it's the first time the club didn't sell out. Um, I had an indie dyed yarn in that club and um, when you see the videos at the end um, I still have um, a couple of skeins left in the purple shade and the orange shade it was one of the club boxes where I had several shades available and it was just random who got what so um, if when you see that footage you are particularly enamored with um, either the purple or the orange um, then send me a message and um, I won't be able to hook you up with the whole box um, but I've definitely got yarn left so up until now the clubs have sold out so i don't know if it was the indie dyed element um, or whether it's just that um, we've been doing this for probably about six months now so maybe um sort of interest in that club is starting to wane um but i'll see what happens over the next few months um i'll keep things going for now um but it might be that um after the summer um, I try and come up with perhaps something new to uh, revitalize and um, peak folks enthusiasm again so we shall see and um, before I pop in that um, footage I do have one more uh, sort of um, stock announcement to make um, a couple of people reached out to me um, in the last couple of weeks and asked um, would I be having any more of the yarn and yarns mugs available so this is the yarn and yarns mug if you've not seen it before it has the yarn and yarns logo um, on the front um, the website address on the back um, and then inside is um, sorry I've just finished my tea <laughs> Uh, inside is um, orange and obviously the handle is orange too my favorite color <laughs> of course you already know that <laughs> um, so there are some pre-orders available for the mug again um, over on the website and I've put the pre-orders to last until the end of May as well the mugs will be ordered once the pre-order is closed if that makes sense um, so if you do order a mug um, it's likely to ship out um, mid to late June depending on when um, my order comes in once I've once I have ordered. Um, the reason I do the mugs as a pre-order um, is because, um, well, I um, it's one of those um, items that I don't know um, how popular it will be in the long term. So you know I don't want to order 50 mugs and then have 50 boxed mugs hanging around um, in my stock room, um, not shifting. So um, I try to order them to the demand that's out there. So hope that makes sense. Uh, so yeah available over on the website now um, pre-order if you missed out or if you want to add another one to your collection yeah, that's everything from me um as i say i will pop in footage if i have it of um what was in the sock club for april um so if for any reason your box hasn't arrived i think they all should have by now um i think there was only one or two international um shipments but if you're um one of the international folks who has not yet received your box and you don't want to be spoiled then um, switch off now um, although as I say there's kind of a random element to last month's club because I had four different colorways. This morning I'm packing up the um, April 
Yarn and Yarns Mystery Sock Club. And um, as I was doing it, I realised that for the last couple of sock clubs, I forgot to record these little clips where I show off what was in the club, um, which I know some of you have asked to see in the past. So um, I thought I should rectify that this time and remember to do it. Um, it's a German um, indie dyer. And I have four different colourways um, this month. <clears throat> I had to um, do what I've done a couple of times before and order a variety of colourways to um, meet the um, number of balls of yarn that I needed um, for the um, for the club. Uh, so yes, there's four different colourways, so I thought I would show them to you. Um, so I have this lovely blue um, with this kind of deep sort of slaty grey colourway. And um, I'm packing these up randomly, of course, as I always do. Um, if you are in receipt of the blue skein, <laughs> Um, you will also receive in your box a Fry's oops, chocolate cream. I try and match the treats with the yarn if I can. And a Hampstead tea, um, chai tea bag. And then I have a um, bag with a few bulb stitch markers in this month as well. So um, yeah, this is the um, selection of goodies in the um, box for the blues game. Second of the four colourway options is this lovely sort of purple, sort of raspberry colour. And um, if you receive a box with that in, you'll get a raspberry cream, yum yum. A wild raspberry tea bag, so carrying on the raspberry theme. And again, um, a bag with a few bulb stitch markers in too. The third um, colour option is um, this lovely, um, really kind of bright springy green. It's looking brighter, I think, on the camera than it actually is in real life. Um, and to go with that, there is some bulb stitch markers again. Um, you get a Fry's Peppermint Cream. And um, I've raided my own personal tea stash for this one. Um, I had a brilliant box of teas sent to me by my dear friend Angie. Hi Angie if you're watching and Angie said I could share some if I wanted to and thus far I have kept them all to myself um, but <laughs> mostly because I forgot to buy some um, green themed tea bags to restock uh, my shop stash. Um, I am including a precious bag of stash in this one um, to go with the sort of green theme. Um, and this is a fusion of green and white tea and I've tried that one myself as I say it's for my personal tea stash and it's delicious so um, yeah that's the um, sort of selection going in the green box and then finally um, the fourth um, sort of colour that I have in this um, lovely yarn is this gorgeous sort of orange with reds and the grey as well the grey was sort of a common theme throughout all of the skeins and in this box, uh, you get a Fry's orange cream, a um, English tea shop tea, uh, beetroot, ginger and curry leaves. And um, again, a bag with some bulb stitch markers in too. Uh, so yeah, that was the April Sock Club, all four variations. And I'm just packing them up randomly. So um, it's a complete luck of the draw as to which colourway um, everyone receives. Be sure bid you goodbye. Um, thank you so much for listening to me talk about the shop. I'll be back again soon with some more making content. Um, until we get to spend time together again, I hope you get to do some of the things that you enjoy. Great big woolly hugs to you all. Bye for now.